do a quick range review of the Sig Sauer Romeo MSR Red Dot. Now this Red Dot is uh, unusual for Sig Sauer as it's, uh, it's, it's fairly low priced. It's in the anywhere between $106 to $120 range depending on where you buy it, but it does have a lot of features and is specifically designed for folks who are coming into the AR-15 marketplace. Uh, maybe entry level and they're looking for a decently reliable optic to put on their AR. So some of the features it comes with here, the on off is going to be right here. Uh, the different adjustment levels here also has, um, looks like a night vision one and a night vision two. Get my thumb out of the way there. This would be off here with nothing next to that indicator there. The battery does go in up here as well. It is not installed from the factory, but it does come with. Your adjustment turrets here on uh, the elevation here and the windage are both exposed, but you do have see-through lens caps, which is a very, very nice feature. It does come already mounted on a riser that does allow for, I don't know if you guys, well, I have the dot turned off here. Let me get that dot back on to one of the brighter settings. It does allow for, I don't know if you can see the dot there, but it does allow for co-witnessing of the dot. So, um, the uh, besides the cleaning cloth here that comes with it, you do have this tool that comes with it. It's got two ends. That flat bladed end here, that will work for making adjustments to your site. And then there's a torx end here that allows for the installation right here so um fairly simple fairly straightforward decent value for the money uh, i'll have some final thoughts after i get this zeroed and we'll talk about the adjustments here and all the other features that uh, that it has so i'm going to shoot this a little bit and i'll be right back Right, some so some final thoughts here uh, the two MOA dots good for closer in stuff here for zeroing at 25 shooting at 50 maybe out to 100 it's good but two MOA um, if you're looking to really shoot tiny tiny things it starts covering up a lot of stuff the further out you go so that's my, uh, my one thing with uh, dots that aren't one MOA uh, the adjustment clicks are really easy to do especially with the included tool um, they adjust at, I believe, one MOA per click, which is, um, most other red dots will adjust at half MOA, so you're not getting that many adjustments, so that's, I think, where they save some money as well. You do get 20,000 hours of battery life, um, at a medium setting. A lot of other sites will talk about 50,000 hours, um, and they're talking about at the lowest setting. Here, 20,000 hours at the medium setting, just so that you have a context there. Um, there's roughly 8,700 hours in a year. So uh, battery life should be pretty good. It's not a 2032 battery, it's a smaller battery, and that is the CR1632 battery. Uh, all in all, the mount hasn't shaken loose. Um, the included Torx driver works very well to help snug that down. Make sure you put a bit of blue Loctite there. It doesn't come with any Loctite on, on it at all. If you're looking for a budget uh, AR Red Dot that comes with uh, some standard features and, and has the SIG name behind it, then I would say this is definitely one that you want to look at. I'll put a link down to uh, the, the product in the description. So if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. We do have a whole bunch of other videos, so please subscribe to the channel. Click the thumbs up button there over on the right, uh, I'm sorry, the bell icon over there to the right so you get notified when we publish new videos. And as always, stay safe and we'll see you out on the range.